Hello all. Right, been running the curtain side now for about four weeks, so I've learnt a bit more since the last time I did, it, did the video when I didn't have a clue because I've only run it for about a week. Also, as I've always said with the curtain side, um, well with the video, the channels and all that kind of stuff, people give me advice on Sundays. Very handy thing to know. So, what we got here. Firstly, um, Gary McCon McConaughey uh, gave me a load of great advice. He says, you don't need to feed the web, pull and tug. Right, we'll come to that one. Um, also, Mark Lachlan said, if you if you grab the curtain in the middle, it opens in one go. That's another one. But Gary got that. Also, another little tip for you guys. He said, don't open both curtain sides in big winds. He said, you open both in big winds. He said, you know, particularly if you're on the docks or something like that, you will never get the damn thing shut. Um, on the flip side of things, if you're on site, someone else told me this. I can't I didn't write your name down. Sorry, mate. Uh, oh yeah, I think it was, uh, well, Nicholas says he doesn't have any fork truck holes in his curtains, and someone else turned around, and they said, if you're on site, um, to open both curtains. He said, the amount of fork truck drivers, they take off euros or mini pallets, he said, they don't know what they're doing, they'll go through the other curtain. He says, happened to me twice. So for your own peace of mind, if you want to keep the van safe, the truck safe, make sure you open uh, both curtains. Uh, oh, and tee hee hee, he says, when you tighten a clip, give it, um, Give it a little nudge. And Danny Boy says, always wear gloves. So, here we go. Firstly, number one, truck driver gloves. Get them from Amazon. Kind of like these ones, got the Panther thing on them. They work very well. So coming back to it. So what he says is like, when you do the clips, what I was doing is I was opening the clip and feeding it through. He said, it's a pull and tug method. It doesn't always work, but we'll give it a bash. There we go. Are we there? We kind of there. There we go. So what you do, Get your two fingers through the hole like that. Put your hand behind it, like this. Pull down, and as you release, give it a yank. And the thing will fall off. These ones here, the busting ones, they ping up quick. You can still try it. Get your hand behind it, yank. And it pulls down. It doesn't work every time. Sometimes you've got to give it a little bit of a feed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through and just do all that one quickly. Bear with me one second. Right, we're back again, with the magic of YouTube in the uh, location. So right, how do I open it in one go? What I was doing before, I, I undid the ratchet, so I undid the um, release bit at the bottom. It's a bit of that like last video. And uh, I was, I'd get to one side and I went like this, pulled it one. No, the way we do it is this. You get the bottom lever, can't see me, can you? Get the bottom lever over here, I'll get that, and release it. Oh, this is good. Can't see me, that's no good, is it? That's better right, over we go. Bottom lever, this one here. Flip it out, that will release the metal. When you pull them, pull this bit in, and you'll see a handle. There's a handle there, and what do we do? This is where your gloves come in handy. Because without the gloves, you put your hand in there, it hurts. So you lift up, grab your handle, and then while holding the pole, grab the middle one of these, right there which is still underneath, not a clip. Yeah. Right. You've got the pole, and then in one motion, you go like this. Voila, one open curtains. Uh, a couple of other things to bear in mind. When you're redoing the curtain back up again, some of these clips, where they go underneath here, they don't want to go underneath, because you've got like the bar there. The best thing to do, really, let's tension off it a little bit more, put it next to the bar, slide it along, tighten it from there. Uh, and one other little functional bit, I couldn't work out how to hold my doors open. I'll back again, get your door open like that, you can stick this in this. I was gonna get a chain on a little bit, what are these things under here? Are they for like a spare tyre? Are they like a sort of a weight training thing? No. That comes out, that goes up, holds the door open. I know from a distance here. Um, but yeah, there's just a few things that I've learned. There's probably an awful lot more I'm still doing wrong. There's probably an awful lot more to learn. But I'm getting there. And the truth of the matter is the best thing to do is just get involved. You'll learn and you'll get tips and you'll get on site and someone will go, no, don't do it like that, mate, and do it like this. You'll get there. As hopefully will I, as I go through my channel, do my transition into my class two, which I'm up to now, or working on now, and working on better ways to take care and take money. <laughs>